and, and, and my point is that unless we're willing to participate with groups, we're not going to get very far. Mm -hmm. There are people out there who want, want to work with us, and we've got to be willing to embrace them and, and, uh, or challenge them to work with us. Mm -hmm. There are blacks out there who want to tell me they're Republicans, mm -hmm. but they don't go to Republican meetings. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are blacks who tell me they're Democrats, but they don't go to the Democrat meetings. Mm -hmm. There are some who say they're independent, but independent of what? So I think in many ways, we still got a lot of work to do. Okay. Okay. And people are waiting for us to share our perspective. Mm -hmm. Now, I probably, you probably get some calls that say, oh, Cal Henry is wrong, Please. but that's all right. Would you like to have a call? Oh, I, w I wouldn't mind that okay. if there's somebody who want to call. Let's see if we can, uh, if, there's some, if you're out there and you listen to this very interesting conversation, good, good conversation too, by the way, because we need to talk about the issue of race. And in all due respect, I felt I've got the opinion that um, the President Obama was, is, is an asset to this country, big time. And uh, it gives us an opportunity to really talk about this issue, and hopefully so we can go forward. So it has, has a phone number here on the screen, and if you'd like to give us a call, give us a call. It's my understanding they may have someone on the line. Okay, there is someone on the line. Thank you, Dave. Your question or comment, please. Yes, you're on the line. Your question or comment, caller. Hello? Yes, caller, going on. Oh, uh, uh, first of all, Dr. Henry, this is Chad Debnam. I don't uh, normally identify myself, but you did such a wonderful discussion of what the rights of elected officials and as you know uh, I've known Cal Henry since 1967 and uh, one to, once again we've disagreed on some points but most of the time we agreed in the main and uh, I just want to let you know that it was pleasure to my eyes being a political scientist a person who really understand the political process to hear a man speak so eloquently and correctly about the ongoing movement in my opinion, to overthrow this country with a kind of like 1934 Germany approach. And it was so wonderful how you broke that down. It just, it just was a, a true joy for me. And as, and as, as you know, Cal, and particularly Mr. Bessard knows that I'm a Republican, but I am a Frederick Douglass Republican. And when, and when T.J. Bailey and those guys came in, and Joe Lutz came into the Republican Party and started this nonsense years ago, I try to point out to them that this, they were the original Tea Partiers, and now it has permeated the whole state and the whole country. And so from my perspective, Cal, I want to let you know, continue to do the good work you're doing. But I want to say one other point before you go, and you guys okay. can discuss this. The issue is not so much who we're willing to work with, is do we understand fundamentally what all these things, underlying issues, are about money. Those people signed those pledges in order to get money and until we can develop a base an economic base okay an economic base i want to say again to dictate they will not hear us because right is not right when people have might and it, and it might equates okay. to money and so i, I want to let you know that i am right. supportive of what you've said i'm in agreement and once again dr Broussard, <laughs> you've done a wonderful job of bringing this to the to the public for discussion because i think it's, it's significant that we're in a very critical point in time when, when there's resources, scarce resources. Okay. The, 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 the people who they use as a target to create their movement is people who happen to have dark skin color. Okay, thank so you. Thanks again for this time, and I'll, I'll beg off. Thanks so much for your Thank, thank you very much, Chad. Appreciate that very much. I, I want him to spend, I want to allow him to spend that time because he had quite a bit to say, and, and it needed to have been said in, in another perspective. And, Kel, I, I really appreciate the fact that he responded. Any, yes. any response? Any, any, real, well, let's, let's get the other caller, and then we'll do this okay. after. Okay, caller, you're on the, you're on the Hello? Air. Yes, uh-huh, caller? Hello? Yes, caller, you're on the air. Yes. Your question or comment, please. Um, uh, he was talking about uh, how, how they were doing President Obama. Yes, the Constitution. We're talking about the Constitution and the fact that uh, the, 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 the Oregon Assembly of Black Affairs has, has contacted General, uh, Attorney General Holder and said that, in fact, elect, elected officials are not, if you will, following the format and, of, of the Constitution. Yes, caller. Take your time. No problem. Wh whatever's on your mind, just go on and share it with us, okay? Hello? Yes, go on. Real quick, like. Am I on now? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Just whatever you want to say. Um, I was listening to you talk about uh, how, uh, how they were doing the president, and I feel the same way. 
They don't know that what he has done has brought back respect to the America. Yes. He went to different countries and he respected the people that he saw and they liked that. Mm -hmm. We haven't had that respect for a long time. And I tell you, they are with this tea party. All it is is Ku Klux Klan in re in uh, uh, cover up. Okay. If you look at some of the Life magazines from 40s, 50s, 60s, okay. you'll see some of the words that they said. They're saying that in this Tea Party. So it's a cover up. Okay. And they're trying desperately to get that black man out of that office. All right. Well, and, th uh, and thank they you. They haven't told us the truth about the people that uh, okay. the president gave the money to. They okay. didn't let us know which ones uh, paid them back. They didn't do any of that. All right. And well, all these things that they did to stop uh, okay. the well, we're gonna, national well, debt, they all right. waited well, we're to do, the last minute. Okay, that well, was on purpose. All right. Well, thank you very much, okay? And that, uh, thank you very much. You know, uh, you know, it's uh, a good uh, point. Uh, There's a point there, but behind from the standpoint, we like to allow folks to really get their thoughts across. And yes. there's, as there's many Americans out there that feels the way she does. Fair? I, agree, I agree with you on that. That's why you need a larger show. Okay. Yes. Go on. Oh, okay. Briefly, I, I think. Well, well, hold on. Hold on, Carl. We'll be right there with you. Go on. I, I believe too. Sometimes money is important. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the only thing. If you're not willing to participate and get out there and share your views, no matter how much money you have, it might not make a difference in any way. Okay. So I don't want to downplay money, don't get me wrong, in terms of getting the voice out. Because you do need money to make some voices. And made. what about this last caller? Real the quick, last, right? last caller, I think she's right on a lot of those issues. A lot issues of folks are feeling that way. Yeah, I, I, my experience is that when people, and I shared people with a, a list of things that uh, President Obama has been able to accomplish even among the greatest odds. And if you want to talk about parties, it, it's, he, he, it comes to some of those even when he has had Democrats opposed to him as well as Republican. And oftentimes people say, well, he had a Democratic majority when he became in office. And I have to say that he didn't. Well, he had to show that people in right, name. Right, 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 right. Now you got another call. Well, and, I, and, all, and all due respect, you, you kind of hit my little nerve again, too, because I'm thinking about here in Oregon, uh, Congressman Peter DeFazio has been one of the people that's been uh, in defiance, if you will, of a number of the issues that well, he's been into. Okay, let's, take the, let's take the call here. Caller, you're on the air. Your question or comment, please. Yes, uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go on. Uh, Calvin, uh, this is Luther Strong. I want to say hello to you and Bruce. How are you doing, Mr. Strong? Uh, my, my question is. Uh, the Tea Party and the and the Koch brothers, uh, who are they really back in the Tea Party? And and I'd like to have a question about the composition of the Tea Party. Okay. You know, are they Social Security people? Are they retired people? And who's backing them? Because I uh, I'd like to get your opinion on that in terms of the the big money people versus what Obama's trying to do about equalizing taxes on various people. Okay. Please comment on that. Thank you very much, Mr. Strong. Yeah, go on. Wait, 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 let, let him comment about that. Tell him to hold on for a minute. Cause we may have well, to do another hour. Another <laughs> Good on. Well, you know, I often think about the, uh, as I told Bruce earlier, I don't like to think about these in terms of whether one is in one political party or another than the other. I like to think of it in terms of whether people are looking at their duties. And see, uh, when people get to this position of being a representative of Congress or uh, 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 Senator, uh, then we have to look at whether they're doing their duties. And I often find that, uh, I think we all can say they are not doing their duties. And they are a little bit manipulated because they want the money, mm -hmm. as you have indicated, and as the call has indicated. I do, have, I do read the papers every now and then and see whether people like the Koch brothers are supposed to be doing some things mm -hmm. with their money, and they, they working to try to get this president out of office. But I don't want to belabor that point because it takes a lot more discussion than what we have here today. Which we will do. And, Mr. Strong, we will be back on. We'll have Cal back on here very shortly, maybe in the, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe if you got enough yeah. time. A couple of weeks, we'll bring him back on, and we'll have this discussion. Okay, we've got another caller, and let's be brief. Caller, you're on the air. Your question or comment, please. Okay, Bruce, I'm going to be blessedly brief. Yes, sir. Um, I 
I think that uh, we need to be very careful about rhetoric now that inflames people. I didn't like President Obama's remark last night about uh, people getting, especially the black uh, people getting out and marching. I don't think it's necessary. I don't want the white people out marching. I want everybody to try to work together. I know that's too ideal, but right now is not a time to divide and conquer, and that could easily come from both sides, and it scares me to death. And the guy sitting next to you, I'd vote for him tomorrow. Thank thank you very much. Thank you very much, Colin. Well, sometimes... you got about two minutes. Okay. Sometimes you... You, when you're up against the wall sometime, you have to begin to ask people to do a little bit more. And, and sometimes when, uh, we also have written to the Library of Congress, or not Library, the, the Black Caucus, and asked them what are they are doing. Because they are in part, they're part of the Congress. Yeah, right. And when you're there among people, you got to be willing to exercise your right there too. And I'm willing to encouraging them to exercise their right in those, uh, in those halls. Okay. You know what? Uh, we, we've got about, about a minute at, at the mo- at best, but I uh, would like to make a point to the fact that uh, Mr. Henry and Dr. Henry will be back here, who have to be president of the Oregon Assembly for Black Affairs, because this is an area that we need to talk about, and especially after the last call and whatever. If we are going to get together, we got to basically put it out on the table. And it's very, very important. So, Cal, is that first off, how do we access your organization? Is it? I know you got a website. Well, we have a website uh, that's uh, it's easy for people to access. It's www.oaba.us. Okay. And that's right. And uh, I think you've seen the uh, uh, email address that you can also access. Okay. The other thing that we have is a listserv that if people want to participate on that, they can write to OABA and ask to be put on there. Or they can. Uh, uh, if they happen to see one of those emails from the listserv, they can uh, access it themselves. So in regards to this show, if, if there are some callers that weren't able to get on the, on the show with us, can they email you some maybe their questions and whatever? Uh, they sure they sure can. They can do that and you'll respond to them on that end of it? Yes. Okay, okay. So it's very, very important. Cal, it's really been a pleasure and hopefully you will, uh, will give us an opportunity to come back, give, give us an opportunity to have you back on here at the Oregon Voters Digest to maybe to, to talk about some of these other areas that we didn't talk about yet, okay, and even bring it from a local perspective because it, well, we're best to, to start getting folks together than home first, right? That's, that's true. Good. Cal, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, good. Folks, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. And as George Page and, and Chet Denton would always say, back to what you believe in. Have a good day. See you next week. <laughs>